Hi, I'm Mr. Donovan. And I'm Miss Danielle. And today we're going to be doing some science. Uh, it's called DNA and You. Basically, we're going to be extracting DNA from three strawberries. Um, so for this, you're going to need some salt. Uh, it's actually half a teaspoon of salt. A third cup of water. One tablespoon of dish soap. Uh, you're going to need an empty plastic cup or, you know, three. Half a cup of rubbing alcohol that's been chilled in the fridge or the freezer. Uh, of course, some strawberries, cheesecloth or a coffee filter, uh, a tall drinking glass, a funnel, um, some skewers or toothpicks, whatever you can get, um, a plastic bag, and I guess a magnifying glass if you want to see the DNA up close once we extract it. So basically, we'll start off with our water. So to the water, we have to add half a teaspoon of salt to the stain, yeah. It's a little. Right. Then we add one tablespoon of dish soap. That's quite a bit, but uh. we'll see how it goes. So what we're making right now is our extraction solution. So basically when we mix this in with the rest um, of our strawberries, once we get there, it's going to break apart the cell membrane, allowing the DNA to be released. And then um, later on, we'll pour this in with the others, and it makes um, the DNA for us to pull out. All right, so now we are going to take three strawberries. All right, and we got to take the green tops off of them. We only want the strawberry part. Mash them up for two minutes to make sure it's all in a pulp. Basically, the more you mash it up, the easier it's going to be to extract DNA from it in the end. Mr. Donovan, also, this can be done with other Instead of strawberries, it can be done with saliva or your spit, correct? Yes. So there's actually another process which you don't need to do all this. Um, it's not as much materials, and I'm sure we could probably put that up at some point. Um, you still need rubbing alcohol and dish soap, just not as much. Um, and then you basically fill a small cup up with some of your saliva, and you can extract your own DNA. That's but if you don't like saliva, you can also do it with other fruit. Um, like bananas or onions. So the more you mash it up and the less chunks you have, the easier you're going to be able to extract the DNA from the strawberry. So once we've mashed this up for two minutes, you're going to want to add three tablespoons of our extraction liquid. And then we're going to mash it up some more for another minute. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take that fluid and pour it into our glass here that we're going to line with the coffee filter so we can have just liquid in the glass because we don't want the pulp. I'm sure if you had a blender at home, you could probably do this with a blender instead of just your fingers. Or a rolling pin. Or a rolling pin. You can get creative. Absolutely. Use what you have at home to help you. Alright, so to this we're going to add three tablespoons 
of our extraction liquid into this bag. So again, we're adding the extraction liquid and we're going to mash it up now to make sure it mixes with all the strawberries and starts to break apart the cell membranes to let that DNA come out. You'll notice it went from a pulp to just a liquid now, which is what we want. set the coffee filter down in there so hopefully the remnants of the strawberries will go through and then the liquid will come out and we'll keep the seeds and the strawberries up top for the pulp. It's important you don't get the pulp in the bottom it will ruin your DNA in the end. You just want liquid at the bottom. coffee filter just like that and then you see it's dripping at the bottom so we're gonna wait for that to drip through the coffee filter it'll probably take a little bit and you can move it around just to like get it to go faster there we go oh, it was going fast <laughs> It doesn't take this long in the mornings, I'm sure, for the coffee to brew for your parents. Painstaking process. <laughs> so basically, while we wait for this, um, once you're able to see the DNA, um, you can do this, like we said, with your spit and see your own DNA. And basically, DNA is. I'll let Miss Danielle explain what DNA is. DNA is what constructs your body, determines like your eye color your body types, things like that, your hair color. No two people in the world have the same DNA. Like Mr. Donovan's DNA and my DNA are two separate things. Your brother and sister, you might be a brother or a sister, their DNA is separate. You do have similar DNAs, but not completely. Coming through just really slowly. Remember, you don't want pulp to come through, just liquid. Trip, trip, trip. How many of you guys have ever done like the DNA ancestry kits? This is almost like it. I don't know if you guys can see that in the coffee grinder or in the coffee filter, there's just pulp. There's still liquid in there, which is what we're trying to get out. So in the bottom, we just want that strawberry juice with the salt water. So basically, it's just going to be strawberry juice with um, the extraction fluid. Mm -hmm. I'll grab another coffee grinder. 
Oops. I think that's all pulled in there. Yeah, I think so. It is close. Yeah, I think we've exhilarated all the juice we're going to get out of it. So what we're going to do next, is we're going to take this fluid and we're going to put it in this middle cup here. top of this strawberry liquid, we're going to use our chilled rubbing alcohol and we're going to very slowly pour it on top of this without mixing it. You want it to sit on top. You want about an inch on top. So what's going to happen is the strands of DNA are going to start forming in between the mixture of, or in between the rubbing alcohol and the extraction solution. Very slowly, you don't want to stir anything up. I don't know if you can see, there's already some forming on top there. Very interesting. So you might not need all your rum and alcohol. And then very slowly put it back. All right. All right. So you can let it sit a little bit, but you can already kind of see there's DNA in the cup. So what I'm going to do is we're going to pull it up. So you just want to like. Is it on the it's on top. Want to grab it and pull it out. Oh, I didn't get a whole lot. Here we'll go back. We'll grab some more. Oh, it's stuck. Hold on. All right. I don't know if you guys can see it in the liquid. Basically, it's this white, gooey stuff right there. Right there. On the end of the skewer. That's DNA from a strawberry. And I mean, there's more. You can we go a little further down. Yeah, you can definitely see it coming, starting to rise, Mr. Donovan. You don't want to mix it, you're just grabbing. The longer you wait, the more DNA you can get. You can probably get long strands of it too. As it forms. But I can't grab it out of the plastic. Let's see. I don't know if you guys can see it from up top here. So this right here is DNA. You can see the strand as I pull it. See, it kind of makes long strings. That's strands of DNA. 
right there. And then there's some in the bottom of the glass right here. It just hasn't sh made strings yet. If I keep going, it should make some. And actually, if you guys use bananas instead of strawberries, you should be able to get more. We'll try one more time to show you. Right there, that's a strand of DNA right there. See? There. Pretty All neat. Right. So that is our science experiment. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Um, yeah, have a good day. Bye, guys. Bye.